Hey y'all, Mr. Tim's here. Uh, this is my Massey Ferguson 35. It's a 1963. Um, this has been in my family since about the 80s and uh, recently got it up and going and I'm just gonna give you a quick walk around. So the story behind this is uh, my dad had gotten it painted um, and basically after it was painted and, and done up, it, 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 was, it just sat up under a barn for, for probably 20 years. Um, I've uh, recently got a piece of land that I'm gonna need to bush hog and so I have got it out of the barn cleaned up uh, and ready to work so here we are so when I pumped up the tires the the back ones are staying up uh, but the front ones were kind of a little bit lacking I've put some slime in them and uh, they're they're fairly dry rotted and you can see there's some serious uh, dry rot here and, and even over on this side but we're gonna just let them roll until they fly apart and then I'll worry about that then so according to the serial number, the way you look up these uh, tractors in this particular year model, the 63 started with 235. So we're right in that 63 range. That's how you can tell here. But when I went to pull it out and get it going, of course, started with new plugs, uh, sediment bowl, and got all the old nasty gas out of it, new ignition coil, and it actually uh, fired right up with, an, with the help of a new battery up there. So... Uh, that was good to see. Now you can see that it's got a new carburetor on it, um, and the old one actually worked, but it, it, uh, you know, these new aftermarket carburetors are so cheap. Um, the the guy that that <clears throat> did all this work for me, uh, he's really good at, at going through all this stuff. He actually upgraded it to a spin-on filter. Instead of having that, he he cut the old oil bath air filter off. It had never been changed. Got a new one of those, I think, from yesterday's tractor biggest thing biggest job he did for me is this water pump so the water pump um the uh you know other than changing the belts and the hoses and stuff and taking that old water pump off it was just leaking like a sieve when i poured the antifreeze in it when he went to um put the new one on the aftermarket part gave him the fit he actually had to go in and machine a little bit of this and machine a little bit of this uh housing that went on it to make it fit because the um the the uh, belt there wasn't lining up so just you know the the product of having aftermarket parts that were made 50 60 years after <laughs> the uh, tractor was so created. when this uh was painted it was all stickered up it it was stickered up with this deluxe tag but it, this particular tractor always had a deluxe tag and i'm trying to figure out what exactly did deluxe mean um did it did it mean it, it came with this front bumper and you know a different grill or a different badging I, I really don't know what uh the deluxe part of it is um so if anybody knows uh out there let me know um all right so our meter on here uh it's still working all these years later um you know uh, the amperage meter and and the uh volt the fuel gauge is is not working um not really worried about that because you can just open the that and look uh, open the tank and look uh we, he put a new uh water um uh, temperature gauge on there and the uh the oil gauge actually worked as, as far as the controls here uh there's your choke this is just on lights and you know and then the start button here so uh that's pretty much it you can tell it's not in gear. Now I've got a TO30, it's actually sitting right over there, <clears throat> that uh, to start this, it doesn't have this push button. You actually uh, push it forward to, to engage it, which is nice because you can never, you know, you gotta have the clutch in and, and push it forward before it'll crank. And so you, you'll never start it uh, and run yourself over. But one thing you wanna not do is, is make sure that thing's in gear. <laughs> and then start it and be in front of this tire when you start. So when this side down here on the on the crankcase here is a that's the PTO uh, lever. Of course, this is the clutch. You can see the linkage back to the brakes back there and these are wet brakes. And so if this any of this leaks right here, uh, you will you won't have brakes. Uh, that's pretty much it on this side. or oil dipstick is here. Again, on this side the generator uh, and we come over to the brakes and, and we've got the one 
that we use for the parking brake is the left brake, but if you want to uh, use both brakes at the same time, you would just step right in between here, or you can independently brake however you want. Um, and so again, on this side, we've got your high and low ranges. Uh, let's see, we've we've got the uh, the three gears in the reverse. Uh, we've got this is our transmission fluid gauge right here, and um, of course the uh, the, P, the um, hydraulic lift arms. In here, not a lot going on. Um, this is a fuel cap right here. So, you know, hey, I don't need a fuel gauge because when it runs out, I know it's out. And good access to the battery um, and up to the radiator. Here and, and to open the hood on, on it, you've got to undo it, pull it down. Now, with the front bumper on, it's really useless. You can't really do a whole lot with that. Can't really get it up. So if you're going to do any uh, heavy work to it and take that hood off, you're going to have to take this bumper off, which is not bad. It's only two bolts. All right, coming back here to the back, of course, I've got a work light up there that, that turns on when you do the headlights. Um, you've got your, your implement tilt right here if you want to change your grade of something uh, while you're plowing or scraping. Um, this is where we're going to put our... Uh, our sway bars uh, back here and if you know there's two two points there's another one back over there so PTO um, and of course the exhaust comes out here at the back uh, some of the models and the diesel ones where it's it's uh, actually vented up in the front so I, I think this over here y'all let me know if I'm wrong I, I think a toolbox or some insert goes in here and I'm, I'm missing it Other so than that just a standard three-point uh, connection to your implements here and the PTO corresponds to the clutch. So when you mash the clutch in, uh, it stops. And so that uh, that's actually a, a big safety concern, especially that uh, was not like that on the TO-30 that's sitting over there. Slap to the valves as it runs, that actually smooths out and quiets down. A little jerky right here. bad for an old tractor. immediately back here you know I lets me know I got some a, a leak somewhere in that in that system but you know it, it's keeping it lifted up while it's running if it, if it leaks down afterwards that's fine not a big deal 
Well, y'all, thanks for watching. Um, I got this thing ready to go, ready to work. Um, I'm gonna try to post some some videos of me uh, out there bush hogging and, and what I'm doing. I got 17 and a half acres to, to bush hog, and so um, uh, give me a shout. Let me know what you think. And um, I wanted to do this video before I started working it too hard, where I get it all filthy and dirty, and it's it's probably as clean as it's gonna be for a long time right now. So, thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good one.